Hello guys, this is Haifan bin Sliman and you are watching Ruby Tutorials. So today uh, we are going to start a new section in our Ruby Tutorials uh, which is the object oriented programming. So um, the first thing that you you need to um, to learn is how to, to def define and uh, how to create a class in Ruby. It's very easy. All you need to do is to write the keyword class. Then it must be followed by the name of your class. So you can call it customer, products, whatever you like. So in my case, I'm just gonna call it products. And the name of your class must begin with an uppercase. So after that, you need to uh, to add the end keyword to uh, close the definition to end the definition of your class. So this is how we define a class in Ruby. So class definition. Now uh, every class uh, can have. Uh, variables can have uh, methods so now I'm just gonna show you how to declare a method for inside your class so uh, def I'm gonna just call, call it say say hello so this is the class uh, the class method of my uh, class product my product my class product that uh, we have created. So now, inside this uh, method, I'm going to I'm going to print to print a little message, "Hello world," and that's all. So now, this is uh, our class definition. Uh, now we must get out of the class definition because we are going to instantiate our class. So to do that. First thing you need to do is to um, to create a, a variable that will contain the object of your class. Uh, so um, I'm gonna call it prod product one. And to associate your class, all you need to do is to write the name of your class dot new. And then, and this is how we instantiate our class in Ruby. So I will add the comment here: class instan instantiation. I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. This is. I think this is correct. Okay. Whatever. So this is how we instantiate our class in Ruby. So now I'm going to run the say hello method. So to do that, all you need to do is to write the name of your object, the product object, followed by dot, and uh, you with the other completion and write the name of your method. So say hello, save my file. And now I'm going to run this file here, and uh, as you can see here. Um, it prints the message that was uh, written in the definition of our um, say hello uh, method inside our class product. So now, uh, for those who have already who already have done some uh, object-oriented programming in other languages such as Java or C sharp or whatever. Uh, every class have must have variables or att attributes. So now I'm going to show you how to um, access how to use the getters and setters uh, inside a Ruby class. So to do that, so let me get rid of this method here. So um, getters and setters in Ruby are just simple methods so uh, all you need to do is to write def and uh, let's assume that our class product have uh, have two uh, attributes which are a name and price so uh, I'm going to just make I'm going to uh, make a getters a getter and a setter for the name um, attributes so def uh, set name and uh, inside the this this method have an argument which is name. 
close it with the end keyword and uh, at p name so um, I'm, go I'm going to exp uh, explain this in a while so you don't need to worry so the uh, the this variable here is an instance variable all instance variable in Ruby begins with the at symbol so I think it's very clear all instance variable in Ruby must begin with the at symbol so now after finishing our setter method we are going to uh, define our uh, getter method so def get name and this get name will return the p name so this is our instance variable it's like writing here return the p name or something like that so now like always uh, outside my our class definition I'm going to instantiate my class then I'm going to set a value to the name of my object then I'm going to print the value of my name attribute of my my product object so now uh, as I uh, let me just write a little comment here um, no 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 comments this time so um, this is the how we instantiate a class in Ruby so product to the name of my my class that followed by the keyword new then I want to set a name for my my, my for this object for this product object so to do that we need to use the uh, object name dot set name and this uh, set name method will have an argument which is the name of my product so I'm gonna call it um, Samsung Galaxy S6 and this is uh, how we use the setter method to set the name of our object so now uh, I'm going to retrieve the name of my object using the get I'm going to retrieve the name of my object using the get name method which is the getter so to do that uh, all I need to do is to, to uh, first of all I'm going to, to create a variable that will contain the name of uh, the, uh, the value of the attribute name so um, uh, my uh, prod name so we'll get product to dot get name so this variable prod name will uh, get the value of the very instance variable of this object here so um, after this line I'm going to print uh, a little message with the value of the name of the, our object so the, the name of our object is interpolation and uh, prod name and now let let me test this piece of code uh, control s to save and let's see the results so as you can see here the name of our object is Samsung Galaxy S6 so uh, let me summarize that uh, all that we have done till now I showed you how to create a class in Ruby uh, I showed you how to create the getters and setters methods and uh, how to use them uh, I've showed you to how to associate a class in Ruby and I showed you how to use the getter and setter method to set the name uh, to set the value to a, an attribute of a class and how to get this value using the getter uh, method so now let me see uh, what can I add what can I add to this tutorial today uh, okay so now let's assume that I want to uh, set the name the the value of my, uh, my the variable the value of this 
uh, of this attribute attributes of my products here after after the uh, the new keyword to do that so first of all let me get rid of this code here and now let's assume that we have um, two variables name and price so I'm just gonna copy and paste this code here just little space uh, I wanna get rid so okay so I'm gonna just copy and paste so set name I'm gonna, gonna call it set price here will be price and uh, price here, so control C, control V, get, get price and uh, P dot price. Okay, so um, for those who have a little of bit of no knowledge in uh, object oriented programming um, we all know the um, constructor uh, thing in the Ruby uh, uh, in the ob object oriented programming so um, in Ruby we can do that that, that means uh, creating a, a constructor by defining a predefined uh, method called initialize so the constructor it's like the construct constructor or it is a con constructor in ruby so to do that uh, you need to def define this uh, uh, method so def it's called initialize and uh, it's a simple it's a normal uh, method it with which end with the end keyword and and um, inside this um, as an argument to this method we have to uh, pass two, uh, not two, but uh, it depends uh, on, on the uh, variables or attributes of your class. So here we have name and price. So I'm going to you to write here name and price, and here I'm going to write my instance variable, which are p dash name receive name without the semicolon at p price receive price so now when i'm when i will um, create my object my product object so um products product one Product that new here wh when I um, when I declared this uh, constructor which is the um, initialize method I can pass directly here the uh, new values of our uh, of our attributes here we uh, after the new uh, function so uh, the name of my um, my product will be here um, I don't know uh, HP laptop and the price will be 1200 dinars so this this is how if you want to uh, set the name the value of your um, attributes of your object directly after uh, the new keyword you have to use you have to define this method which is the constructor which is called the initialize method in Ruby so now I'm going to access my um, uh, those uh, uh, values so product one dot get name so I'm gonna affect these values to a variable so p name p P name receive product one dot get name and uh, p price we receive product one dot product one dot get uh, price so after that I'm going to print a little message so puts uh, the name of the product is so interpolation 
and uh, p name and uh, it costs uh, interpolation to point interpol uh, sorry interpolation p price so now i'm going to uh, run this chunk of code and let's see the result so as you can see here the name of the product is hp laptop and it costs uh, 1200 dinars so um I think uh, this video is about 15 minutes so I'm just gonna not gonna make it longer than that and um, maybe we will uh, continue the uh, the OOP programming in the next videos uh, I hope you have learned something from this video and um, see you in the next listen bye bye